Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockeiner. Today's story is fileless ransomware. Before I talk about the actual story, you may not have heard of fileless malware. Basically, fileless malware or fileless attacks are ones that literally don't have any files resident on your computer. Now, there can be completely fileless attacks. These would be attacks that take advantage of a software vulnerability to directly execute code in memory. And once they have code running in your computer's memory, they can load existing tools like PowerShell and never place any files on your computer at all, even though things like PowerShell could give them a remote backdoor into your computer. So that would be a completely fileless attack. However, there's also a class of fileless malware where the fileless might be in quotes. Technically, the malware may start with an executable file, but in this case, once the file runs, it will inject itself into a Windows process and it would get rid of the original file. In other words, it will delete all evidence of itself and then it's only running in memory and you can't find it other than as an infected process. Today's story actually involves the latter of those to a fileless piece of ransomware that actually does start as a file that self-destructs. The story, by the way, comes from the researchers at Trend Micro who found a new threat which they call Sorbrecht. And it's interesting because it combines some of the fileless attacks with specifically ransomware. Sorbrecht is fileless ransomware. Basically, if you get this infected file and it runs on your system, it's going to inject itself in a very common Windows process. Once it injects itself into this process, it actually does a good job of cleaning up after itself. In other words, it actually destroys the original executable binary, and it also uses tools to delete all the event logs in Windows so that there's really no forensic evidence of the original file. Now, once the malware is running in this process, it acts very much like normal ransomware in that it will encrypt your files, leave you a text pad note telling you your files are encrypted. It also uses Tor to kind of mask the command and control channel that it connects back to. On top of that, this particular malware is pretty good at infecting network computers as well. It will uh, search your local network looking for any open shares where it can also encrypt those files. Apparently, it also leverages a pre-existing Windows CLI tool called PSSEC to actually try to load itself on other computers as well. In any case, it's a very interesting new piece of ransomware because it's the first one trying to be fileless or stealthy in this way. Now, the good news is there's easy ways to protect yourself from Sorbrek. Despite the fact they're calling it fileless, the initial infection vector actually includes a executable binary, and things like WatchGuard's Gateway Antivirus or APT Blocker both can actually catch this. It's a well-known thing. And other antivirus probably can as well. More importantly, if you're a WatchGuard user that has our new Threat Discovery and Response Service, even if this file actually gets on your computer and you run it so it executes as a process, TDR's host ransomware prevention can actually detect some of its behaviors and kill the process before it actually does anything bad like encrypt your files. So with WatchGuard's total security suite, you have many different protections for this type of ransomware. Besides that, some other just general tips you should do is always back up. That way, if you ever get infected by ransomware, you don't have to worry about losing your files. And also make sure to tighten your Windows file sharing user permissions so that ransomware that infects one computer can't access many other shares. So that's it. I thought it was an interesting new ransomware threat. If you'd like more details on it, be sure to check out Trend Micro's blog post. That's it for today's news. Thank you for watching.